Recently, I saw something that changed my perspective on a particular pass. This pass goes by different names. You know, some people call it the Sao Paulo pass. Some people call it the Wilson pass. Some people call it the Tozi pass. Some people call it Chen pass. Like, a lot of guys have taken credit for the pass, even though it's been around. Um, and there's all kinds of different details. I've done it different ways in the past. Um, but now I think I stumbled on a, a really good methodology, you know, thanks to Leo and the guy. So I want to kind of break down the, the principles of the past as far as like what has to happen before we even talk about execution. So Brody's helped me. Yeah, we just finished up Sunday training here, which is um, if you're in the area, man, it's open to everybody. I, I, I have no restrictions. You can train anywhere and come visit us on Sunday from 10 to 12. And uh, we just do a hard practice and you know, help each other get better. So one thing, I'm not even going to close guard. I just want to talk about principle. So the past works on the principle of spinal distortion. So your, your goal is to shift the knees across while pinning the shoulder down, right? But the problem lies in I can shift the knees across, but I also have to get the knees above the hip line. So like if I shift and his knees are down here, that's when we go into the dangers of omoplata and sweep. So I'm going to show you first how I used to do it, and then I'm going to show you the dangers and why I'm kind of changing my methodology. So this is a low posture pass. So it works really well when people break you down or when you choose to be broken down. And the way I, the first way I ever learned it was underhook, cup in the back, bicep grip, head down, and walk my knees to whatever side I'm going to pass, which is going to be the side of my, my bicep grip. So the first methodology I ever learned was here, 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 switch, switch, step over, and start passing half. It was a way to force half. The challenge and why the reason I abandoned it was like this idea of just walking my knees over like this. You know, that's really ideal, and it's super easy for them to adjust. You know, so I changed my methodology. I said, if my goal is just to switch, like to drive his knees one way and keep his, his shoulders flat, why not stack them, All right? So I started going here, and then drive my head into that space. And then switch my hip. But, like here, man, it was easy for him to still stretch away. And then I was on danger of omoplata. Him lifting lift knee, danger of sweep. So many dangers, you know? But, like, uh, like recently, I saw um, one of the breakdowns that Leo Nagar did. And Instead of having a deep underhook, he was gripping in the tar pit and then locking on the hip and then bicep grip. It's still stacking, right? But this, this anchor here, man, it changed my world. Because first of all, it's easier to get. I don't have to fully commit. But also, it's easier for me to stack. So here, I'm just pulling everything in and then drop each other moving. It's also easier if I get my elbow inside the knee. He tries to move me. It's easier for me to switch my hip and still have control. He tries to move me. It's easier for me to step over. Like just that one grip, like gripping lower and like covering the hip, thinking less about the underhook and more about the hip control. Man, it's changing a lot. It's, it's kind of changing my methodology. And man, I learned something from that video. I learned something from YouTube. Ah, it's strange. It's super strange. It's like, man, you have so many instructions. Man, don't go to YouTube. It's, it's junk there. But like, man, sometimes it's not the whole technique that matters. It's just like one little thing. And it especially helps if you're, you're already doing a big picture. Like, you're already doing an arm bar. And you just like shift one little thing. One micro adjustment. That's all it is. So like, man, study everything. Because everyone has the details that work for them, and you might find something that works for you. All right? So I'm going to link to that video, the, the original, the one I learned it from, in the description. And uh, 
Also, man, if you have questions, feel free to ask. All right, comment if you want. <laughs> have a great day.